It's a genuine pleasure to welcome you all to the marriage of our daughter Lucy and the handsome Mr. Christopher James. Lucy entered our lives on the 15th of June 1991. I remember it well, despite the gas and air. <laughs> there was Tiger Tiger burning bright about on the telly, and we had pepperoni pizza after. <laughs> From the get go, Lucy had a slightly untypical, unconventional, upbringing. We like to call it character building in Yorkshire. <laughs> and boy, did we build a character. Who is and always will be the apple of our lives. At 12 months, she was out on the boat. Five years, so a fishing, catching her first mackerel and gutting them. And she used to say, poor fishy, poor fishy, as she cut the heads off. <laughs> as she got older, early teens, so scuba diving in Normandy on the D-Day Rex, stabbing flatties for the barbecue, chasing scallops and lobster, and bungee jumping off a 60 metre cliff. And we always said that, Lucy, if you can jump off that cliff with an elastic band tied around your ankles, you can face anything. <laughs> character building created the effective and efficient young lady that we are so proud of today. However, don't be fooled by that stubborn, determined resilience, for beneath that tough outer skin forged in the heart of the People's Socialist Republic of South Yorkshire <laughs> lies a huge heart and a generosity of spirit the likes of which I've never seen before. Making this speech has been somewhat difficult. You see, with James and Lucy both being lawyers, I've had to sign a confidentiality agreement. Me and James first met at the age of 14 at Sandy Way Golf Club, where I played golf and, well, James... Um, James tried to play golf. <laughs> I've seen you grow from a shy lad into someone who uses confidence and charisma and I couldn't be more proud to see the person you've become today. Although living in different countries we don't get to see each other so often, the sign of a true friendship is that when we do, it feels like we saw each other last week. Lucy and James, tonight we celebrate you. We all wish you a lifetime of happiness, love, health, success and laughter. May you continue to find humour in the bad and appreciation for the good. May your friendship continue to grow throughout all the years to come. If we all ready to go. Lucy is one of the most caring people I've ever met and it beats me as to where she gets it from. <laughs> we've worked hard, we've played hard. Life isn't about living to work, it's about working to live. So my advice to Lucy and James is don't take life too seriously and have lots of fun. <laughs> I am the hunter. I 
still do. Yeah. You can try. I'm a bit out of the comfort zone, but. Out of your comfort zone. You look fine. You look very, very oh, smart. Very smart. Well, I do. You'll do. Yeah? Yeah. So go do it. In the second. Dad, thank you for everything you do for me, from showing me how to change a light fitting to walking me down the aisle. I will give you to the moon and back. Ever back down now. Like a wolf in the night, I'm alone in the fight, I'm not gonna kill this time. take Lucy to be your wife? Do you promise to love and honour her, to respect and support her, and to be true to her always? I do. And Lucy, do you take James to be your husband? Do you promise to love and honour him, to respect and support him, and to be true to him always? I do. I, Christopher James Finney, do you take thee, Lucy Harrison? Do you take thee, Lucy Harrison? To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I, Lucy Harrison. Do you take thee, Christopher James Finney? Do you take thee, Christopher James Finney? To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I give you this ring. As the gift of our marriage. As the gift of our marriage. As a symbol of hope. As a symbol of hope. For our future together. For our future together. And of my everlasting love. And of my everlasting love and you may kiss the bride. <laughs> everyone to the stunning tinder hall hopefully it may just be worth the two days annual leave we've all taken to be here <laughs> David, I think you can both be immensely proud of the amazing daughter that you've raised together in Lucy. Sandra and Martin, <laughs> you've also raised two amazing daughters together. <laughs> built a beautiful home together in Pitmere, complete with a crazy ginger bizzler pup, the adorable Snoop. 
They're also lucky to share their street with amazing family and friends who live just two houses down, making Buttercup Way the place to be. You look amazing today, and James is a lucky man. You've made him the person who he is today. The love and support that you give to James is something that we all thrive for. I'm just happy that after many drunken conversations sat in your back garden, James finally decided to pop the question. So congratulations on that one. My beautiful wife, ladies and gentlemen. Three thousand one hundred and twenty days since that first snog in Viper Rooms <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning. Two thousand four hundred sixty-nine days since we bought the house, and most importantly, three hundred sixty-one days since we got Snoopy. Oh. The last eight years have been incredible, and I can't wait for what we've got to come. And I don't know what you're all thinking. You know, how did I possibly land a woman as beautiful as my wife? And the truth is I don't know, and I get asked it all the time. So I've been <laughs> trying to think of, of what it is that I've, I've got that she likes. Um, and the only thing that I can... <laughs> well, the only thing I can think of is that very fortunately... <laughs> this, this next bit doesn't read well. <laughs> so very fortunately, I've got a very large brain <laughs> and I do well financially as a corporate lawyer
Reese is one of my best friends and without a shadow of a doubt, the meanest man here to me. <laughs> I once overheard him and Lucy having a conversation and they were talking about me and we were very drunk at the time. But Reese said when asked about me that he loved me, but he wasn't sure if he liked me. <laughs> Lucy said, I know what you mean. <laughs> Rebecca, could you pass some of your shot of tequila? Here too, Big Mike. Big Mike and Catherine got engaged last weekend. So I think that's so Congratulations both. As Lucy said, she couldn't let us have it this week, no. <laughs> Please put your hands together and welcome onto the dance floor for the first dance, the bride and groom!
And in Lucy, I think you have found someone very special. She is warm, kind and caring, and she always put others before herself, most notably you, James. I'm sure everyone will agree she is truly Yorkshire's finest. And together, you make a fantastic and formidable couple. And I wish you both an amazing married life together. And I'm very excited to see what the future has in store for both of you. And if everyone would join me in raising a glass to the newlyweds, to Lucy and James. Silver, silver, line into the story If you thought that I would turn and run Then y'all don't know me May my fears rest in peace Cause that's a old me Got this taste on my tongue I crave the glory ah, Gasoline in my veins Be the fuel through my pain oh, ah, As we rise, rise from the flames Heart of a lion Never say never Cut like a dime Shine under pressure Oh, it's time to fire on up Oh, it's time to fire on up Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow Just play the game right, no one can follow Oh, it's time to fire on up Oh, it's time to fire on up The struggle is real I say the struggle reveals How you deal with the monster that's inside you I don't buy into the luck I put my faith and my trust in my team Everything that we done been through ah, Gasoline in my veins Be the fuel through my pain oh, ah, As we rise, rise from the flames Heart of a lion Never say never Cut like a diamond Shine under pressure Oh, it's time to fire Hold up Oh, it's time to fire